what's up everybody welcome back to yet another video so this is basically um the a follow-up video to the previous video that i just uploaded so i had realized that i had missed out on a lot of things so i just decided that i was just going to record the second video i probably know you don't care much about those things please do not forget to like subscribe and comment oh if you like it then you can like like it if you don't like it so in today's video i'm going okay. Anyway, so in this video, I'm going to be sharing some of the technologies that and tools that we had used for our third year project. I'm Kat. So, in terms of technologies and tools, we were given a free DOM to do whatever we wanted to do, use whatever we wanted to use. So that was like freedom. Um, yeah, that came with a lot of responsibilities which meant that we had a lot of research and learning. We used C Sharp, which was self-taught because, I mean, it was giving. <laughs> it was giving. Uh, so C Sharp was giving, so we had to learn C Sharp. We used um, the .NET framework. So we, in terms of the IDE, we used Visual Studio. In terms of our front end, we use your HTML5, your CSS, Bootstrap, JavaScript, jQuery and stuff. Simply because, I mean, there's, there's a whole lot of other stuff that you could use. But I think for us, we really didn't have, you know, we didn't have the luxury of time. So for our mobile app, we created an Android application using Android Studio, which uses Java. So in terms of databases so we hosted our database on microsoft azure so i think i've mentioned in my previous video that uh we got a a free uh, subscription for that so basically that's about it and then some of the stuff that i remember using was fusion chart so i think i did mention that we also had like an admin um page dashboard which had all the different types of graphs representing all sorts of data so we used fusion chart so you can check that out um to be quite honest i can't remember what else we had used it was quite a while ago so some of the stuff that you can check out is using the framework called flatter did you see my tongue roll <laughs> So you can use Flutter. So Flutter was created by Google. So yeah, some of, probably some of you all know about it. So instead of using your Visual Studio, I mean using Android Studio, that is a lot. So good thing about Flutter. Um, so it's cross-platform. can run on both Android and iOS. So it's like some great stuff. So it uses Dart. Um, basically, it's 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 not it's a, it's one of the most like simplest languages I've ever had to learn so yeah but like you don't have like your css and stuff so everything even when you create your button it's like code and then you so, sort of like creating a widget it's like widget based like everything is a widget if you're creating a button it's a widget you know um so it's a lot of code that you have to write i must say but you can use visual studio code which is a much better version of visual studio okay it's so much better like it, Visual Studio is a lot, um, it uses a lot of memory compared to um, Visual Studio Code, which is like your simple editor, but it has it is an IDE because it has a compiler, so amazing stuff. So you can look that up because a lot of things have changed, the world is evolving, so you can look things. You can look at things like .NET Core, the use of MVC um, and Node.js. So you can also look at those things. They're probably every like all of those things are on 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 YouTube. Or you can also like sign up at Udemy. Sometimes the courses really go like for cheaper prices. So a course that would normally cost um, 1.2, 1.5, sometimes it gets on sale. And then it would probably cost you at around 250 rands, which is a bargain. But YouTube has free content. You can look at that. So or we use web forms for our for our um, web application. We use web forms and .NET. So you can like look at things like .NET Core and use MVC. 
just about it you know um so the main thing is not to complicate things just can keep it as simple as possible if you've got the luxury of time then you can go out and use the greatest of the greatest i mean the world is your oyster this is not me telling you what to use i'm just talking about what i used um, okay so the world is your oyster there's plenty of technologies and tools that are out there already and very and like and in super not even super free guys they're so free for you to use so all you have to do just do the right research and yeah that's just about it thank you so much for watching and yeah and all the best goodbye